Hello, everyone, and welcome back already. It's week three of the Greatest Gift Quilt Along, and this week is our first week sewing. We are sewing. My name is Jennifer Long from Be So Inspired Sew a Story. I am so excited to get started, if you can't tell. <laughs> I want to get sewing this quilt with you. Um, so we are so excited to get started, and this week we are sewing a really easy, just stitch and flip, um, not too much, uh, like, neat thought process needed for it. Um, we're just learning a little bit. If you haven't done the quarter square triangle technique, we'll just learn that. Um, I'll sort of point you in the right direction to get that information today. So we'll share all of that. If you're familiar with it, then it, you'll have no problem breezing right through this row. Um, and we'll get started on uh, right away. If you are still cutting, do not worry. These videos still live forever, um, as well as do all of the blog posts and all of the linked tutorials that we'll link um, for different techniques that we use in the quilt alongs. So um, that will be wonderful for you um, to sew at your own pace. We have lots of time before Christmas still. Um, so this is supposed to be um, sewn with love and breath. <laughs> So um, just take your time and work at your own speed for this quilt along. Okay, here we go. So this is week three. This is a sky and star uh, row, and um, it looks like this. So there are three colorways. So you're going to make three, I'll to actually tell you how many of each star. You make three of the, the navy ones or the denim, the dark denim ones, and then two of the green inners, and then two of the burgundy ones. Um, so two like this, um, three of the navy ones and then two of the, the green ones, they're the olive ones. Um, so a couple things just to note, um, you'll just start on page 10. It's just page 10, 11, and 12, I believe. Um, yeah, so it's very, very easy to get this whole row together. You just start off with a two at a time HST. Um, I'll, uh, just, there's illustrations for each of the steps. So it's really, really well illustrated. So you can sort of see as you go along. And then you take those um, measure pressed HSTs that you've made, just do a little rotation and we'll pin in the center. Um, I'll link a tutorial here for that as well. And then you'll make a quarter square triangle. So if you've never made quarter square triangles, oh, <laughs> you're gonna be addicted. They're so fun. So this is a quarter square triangle. One, two, three, four here. And you're gonna make four of them for each star. And this is not directional fabric. So um, it's you can make them all exactly the same, but the um, thought process comes when you lay it out. So it's just a basic nine patch after you sew, sew your quarter square triangles. And you'll just sew one, two, three, you'll lay out these three blocks, one, two, three, these three blocks, noting that you always have that colored center coming in towards framing your the middle of your star, and then one, two, three. So row one, so row two, so row three together. Um, and then you can decide how you press. Pressing it seems so um, personal. <laughs> um, I personally like to press my seams open, especially with his lots of piecing because I long arm as well. And um, I just don't want that bulk when I'm doing an edge to edge. However, you can press however you want to the dark side. Um, nestles is Nestled is really great too. So you can press this, this whole row going one way, this going the other way, and this going the other way. Just don't, careful that you're not pressing everything in the same direction. So open or nestled is just totally fine for pressing. Um, and then you'll make all the stars that you need for this row and you'll sew it together with the setting instructions that are there. So um, that is week three already, and I just can't wait to see yours. So please do share your weeks as they go. And um, I'm looking forward to continuing this so long. Next week is the gifts. Don't get overwhelmed by the gifts because they're actually easier than these stars, and these stars aren't hard at all. So it looks like they're more complicated, but they're super easy. So um, it's, yeah, everything's just stitch and flip. So it'll be really, really fun. And there's lots of straight sewing in there. So really, really fun. Um, so you'll have to join me next week to find out about it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for being here. I just wanted to pop in, check how you're doing, make sure this, uh, the sew along is going good, making sure that you are having fun, that you're breathing, taking your time, that your organization is going good. 
and I will see you again next week for week four and the gifts. Thank you so much for being here. Um, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel um, or the Facebook group or the blog. And um, I'm grateful for, for you and for Riley Blake for this fabric collection and for being able to share this pattern. All right. Have a great day today. Talk to you soon.